In this video, we will factor quadratic trinomials with a leading coefficient other than 1. So let's remember how to multiply binomials first. So if we multiply 2x minus 5 times 3x plus 2, what will that look like? So we would distribute the 2x to the second binomial and the negative 5 to the second binomial. When we finish distributing, I'd get 6x squared plus 4x minus 15x minus 10. Then I combine the middle terms to be 6x squared minus 11x minus 10. But then how do we work backwards from here? That's our goal. We want to be able to factor a trinomial that looks like this. Well, remember we used our diamond to be able to figure out what we could multiply to and then add to. This time, because we have another number other than 1 in front of that x squared term, we need to be able to use it. So this time, we're going to multiply our leading term by our constant term for the bottom of our diamond. So the 6 times negative 10 becomes a negative 60. And that's going to be the number we use in the bottom of our diamond this time. We're still going to use that linear term and its coefficient in the top of our diamond. So I now have negative 60 that we need to multiply to and negative 11 that we need to add to. So the factor tree for 60, we know because it's negative that one of our numbers needs to be negative, and because our top number is negative, we know our larger numbers have to be negative. So if my larger numbers are negative, the only combination that works to give me a negative 11 is 4 and negative 15. These are going to be what we're going to split the middle with. So really nothing has changed except for getting the bottom part of our diamond a little differently. I'm still going to start with our trinomial, and I'm going to split the middle. I'm splitting the middle into 4 and negative 15x. From here, I factor by grouping. So 6x squared plus 4x has a common factor of 2x, and I'm left with 3x plus 2. Negative 15x minus 10 has a common factor of negative 5, which leaves me with 3x plus 2. Notice again that our parentheses are the same. This looks exactly like our distribution step from earlier. So I can bring together my factors and have 2x minus 5 and 3x plus 2. So here, when our leading coefficient is anything other than 1, we have to multiply this leading coefficient by our constant to be able to get the bottom part of our diamond. So let's take a look at some examples. 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. I need to multiply this 2 times the 3 to get the 6 in my diamond. The 5, that middle term, still goes on top. So I need factors of 6 that add to 5. So 2 and 3. Now I can split the middle into 2x squared plus 2x plus 3x plus 3. What do 2x squared and 2x have in common? They have a 2x in common. So I'm left with x plus 1. Plus 3x plus 3 have a 3 in common. So I have 2x plus 3 and x plus 1 as my factors. For this next example, I have 5m squared minus 17m plus 6. I have to multiply the leading coefficient of 5 times 6, which is my constant term, to get 30 in my diamond. Negative 17 goes in the top of my diamond, and the two factors will be negative 15 and negative 2. So when I split the middle, I have negative 15m and 2m bring down the 6 and 5m squared. Take out your GCF from each group and then bring together your factors. Here I have a positive 6 and a negative 4, which is going to give me a negative 24 in my diamond. And then I have a negative 5 on top. 
The factors of negative 24 that add to negative 5 will be 3 and negative 8. So then I split the middle and have 6y squared plus 3y minus 8y minus 4. Now I can pull out the GCF from each group. So I have 3y that I can pull out from the first group and be left with 2y plus 1. I can pull out a negative 4 from the second group to be left with our 2y plus 1. And then I need to bring together my factors. 3y minus 4, 2y plus 1. In this last example, I have 12 times negative 5, which gives me a negative 60. But this time I need a positive 11. So my factors are going to be negative 4 and 15. Now I can split the middle and have 12c squared minus 4c plus 15c minus 5. Pull out the GCF. I can pull out a 4c from this first group and be left with 3c minus 1. I can pull out a 5 from the second group and be left with 3c minus 1. Since our parentheses match, we know this is just distribution that's happening here. So bring together your 4c plus 5 and your 3c minus 1 is your other factor. Next, we're going to have some on your own problems. There are six of them. I have these two on your owns, the next two, and the last two.